Alrighty, ladies and gents, now as I mentioned, there are five of the different things that we have to include inside of a mob doing redstone category, and the first of those things that I want to touch upon is, of course, the entrance. You see, spiders are one of the very, very, very few mobs in the entire game that can actually climb up walls, and so if they could do redstone, their entrance into people's bases would probably be through the form of flying machines, and by flying machines, I mean eight identical flying machines for each of the spider's eight legs. You can hop on each and every one of these, they are exactly identical, and as soon as you do step on any one of these, you can hit this button here to be launched up into the air nice and swiftly and nice and quickly. I just literally walked off because I am an absolute genius, but as you can see, they soon dock up at the top here and are stopped by a piece of obsidian right here, where the player can then walk off into the other areas of the entire build. Personally, I absolutely love the fact that these are just so identical and so fast and things. For example, if I wanted to go down, all we have to do is hit that button there and, we'll be, and we would be dropped all the way down to the bottom so that we can now exit the build through that weird spider leg staircase thing that I, for some reason, decided to build. Now, I've actually used some different colors of concrete to actually mark out the different areas, and the first thing I want to touch upon is, of course, storage. And so, as we, soon as we come up from this flying machine here, we can then walk in to either of these two cells. Now, you might wonder why there is some water here and why is all this glass here, and that is because spiders are exactly one block tall, and I was thinking, why not build the storage and and much of, you know, most parts of the other build to be one block tall. And that's exactly what I've done. So again, you ride up from that side down there, and after swimming in this position here, we can now access a one tall storage system, which can actually hold and store 93,312 different items. And the way we're doing that, as you might expect, is through shulker boxes. This would be entirely filled with shulker boxes, and if we wanted to, say, check out a pink one, that would be dispensed, and we can now access the items inside. Very, very simple, but very, very effective for spiders for every spider's needs in storing all of their different items. Next thing we're going to look at is, of course, the utility section. Because in the utility section, there is something that I spend a quite a while upon. You see, in Minecraft Hardcore Mode Java Edition, spiders will actually have certain percentage chances to actually spawn with uh, certain potion attributes. For example, speed, invisibility, regen, etc. And while most Minecraft YouTubers would just, you know, drop a uh, potion directly onto the player, I, on the Minecraft Emporium channel, have created a machine to exactly calculate the correct percentages so as to, whenever you step on that pressure plate over there, give you the correct potion with the correct percentages of that Minecraft would automatically generate. For example, if I was to swim through this pressure plate here, we will get a uh, an invisibility potion for exactly 20% of the time. Unfortunately, I'm invisible, so you cannot see me at this, at this uh, moment in time. Whoops, difficulty, that's not what I wanted. I wanted effect at a clear. Sorry about that. And so this is something that I absolutely love. For example, let's say you're a spider. Instead of having an armor equipping station, all you would have is a potion dispenser, which again has the exact probabilities, 40, 20, 20, 20, for each of the respective potion types. How cool is that? Also on the subject of utility, we have the defense stations. Now these defense stations aren't your ordinary defense station, because these defense stations are string defense stations. By flicking this button here, you of course get string launched out about a bajillion times per second. Not useful in the slightest, but who said these videos have to be useful? And the same can also be said for this set of dispensers on this side over here. Next up, we have, of course, furnaces. And now, furnaces, for this one, I didn't really do uh, too much for them, other than one very important thing. You see, spiders are actually neutral during the daytime and hostile during the nighttime. And so, as soon as it becomes nighttime, meat will actually be dropped inside of these smokers that will actually fuel the spider's rage and become and angry and attack the player. It's a little bit metaphorical, and you know, it kind of makes a little bit of sense. All of the items that are then smoked by these smokers, of course, we're using, uh, where is it, uh, where is it? We're, of course, using uh, cooked beef because spiders are probably pretty tired of eating spider eyes, and after they pass through these hoppers and activate these note blocks, they are then dropped out 
by these droppers here. For example, if I added a piece of steak in here, they will swiftly be dropped out uh, so that we can collect them while sitting in the main area up here. We also have an alarm clock system for whenever it becomes night so that spiders know to become angry and attack the player. And with that, that's probably going to do it for the furnace section of the entire build. Lastly, we have another one of my favorites, which is, of course, the fun section. Now, you, you probably know that spiders... Uh, often spawn with skeletons on their backs. And so what basically this contraption does is that we spawn a skeleton and then attempt to suffocate it. The emphasis is on attempt because while I could easily just suffocate it by making that pulse extender on the yellow concrete longer, what I like to do is the skeleton swapper. For example, this is a skeleton here. And if I press this button, a new would be spawned and the old one would then suffer the same suffocation fate as the original one would not. And so it's kind of like, the uh, the original one disappeared and we get a new one. Again, it's for fun and so it's not exactly practical, but hey, it has some foundation within the Minecraft world. Again, spider jockeys. With that, ladies and gents, I truly do hope you enjoyed our exploration as to what if spiders could actually do redstone? We've got everything from string dispensers, eight identical flying machines, weird furnaces, and uh, precise potion dispensing for armor equipping stations, one tall storage system with shulker box swappers for all of our spider storage needs. And with that, thank you so much for watching, and take care.